Hey, what's up guys? So as you guys know, I'm a big fan of dash cams. I find them super, super useful, and I've typically been running them specifically for driving purposes. Well, after this weekend, I'm now sold on the necessity of having a dash cam, not only for when you're driving, but also for when you're parked. I had two people hit my car this past weekend, and I'm a little bit peeved about it. And I actually recorded it on dash cam, and I wanna share that with you guys. So here's what happened. Um, I went out to go take a look at my car and I noticed that uh, the front of my car, the grill had actually been cracked. Somebody had actually backed into my car, cracked my grill, and then drove away. That kind of sucked. Uh, so what I went to do is I went to go take a look at my dash cam footage to see did anybody actually, or did I actually get this recorded on my dash cam? And unfortunately, I didn't. Just uh, I, about two days prior, I had installed uh, some dash cams, you know, front and rear. You can see two of them I got here on the rear. I've got three up in the front. And um, I've actually got a battery system installed here under my passenger seat that allows me to record while I'm parked. Unfortunately, this must have actually happened before I'd installed, you know, some of the dash cams and the batteries that monitor while I'm parked. I hadn't actually checked my, uh, you know, my grill stuff, you know, in a couple days, and I had no idea when that actually happened. I was hoping that my dash cam had recorded it, but unfortunately it didn't. So yeah, car got hit, drove away, hit and run kind of thing. Fortunately, I didn't get that recorded. However, literally the very next day, <laughs> I hop into my car and my car says that, or my dash cam says that uh, it had detected an impact when I was in parking mode. So uh, I pulled out my phone, uh, grab the app here. It's loading now so you can see and it, I was able to hop on the Wi-Fi and actually watch um, You know all the different events that the dash cam had recorded and sure enough I found another impact where somebody else had actually backed into my car Now what had happened is living in the city, I mean, this kind of stuff realistically happens all the time, parallel parking, whatever, whatever. Some people even have like rubber pads on the bumpers and stuff. Anyways, somebody had actually backed into my car, hit my car, and my dash cam had actually recorded this entire thing. Luckily with this second event, there was no damage to my car. It was just a light impact to my uh, front license plate area, but that was enough to actually trigger my dash cam so that it was recording the whole thing. Uh, because that dash cam was actually hooked up to a battery system, it was actually recording the whole time, even while I was parked, without having to rely on my car's battery, which is really nice. Uh, additionally, with this particular one, uh, this is the Blackview DR650S two channel. Uh, this particular one, the way the parking mode works, um, I actually really, really like it. Uh, it can automatically switch between driving mode and parking mode. It can sense when you're parked. Thanks to the GPS, it notices you're not driving anymore. And also with the G sensor, it notices, well, you're not driving anymore, right? So it can automatically switch into parking mode so you never have to think about it, which is awesome. So automatically switches into parking mode, begins running off the battery when you need it, and then when you hop back in your car and begin driving again, then it switches back into driving mode, which is awesome. So I really love that automation capability. Some of the dash cams you have to manually switch in and out of parking mode. Honestly, you're probably gonna forget. I would forget. It's not something I'd wanna have to do every time. So I like the fact that with the Blackview, it's actually done automatically. I'm gonna be doing a review of that camera and my got like three cameras installed right now um, that I'm going to be doing some reviews of. But anyways, I wanted to share this clip with you guys and uh, just basically show you why now I'm kind of sold on the necessity and importance of having a dash cam that's not only good for when you're driving, but also when you're parked. Um, so I like the fact now that my camera can actually record this. Yeah, I definitely wish I'd had the system installed earlier, so I could have seen the person who actually damaged my car, but now I'm actually really grateful that I've got a system that, should that happen again, my cameras will be recording. Um, as far as recording time with this particular system, uh, I've got the Blackview B112. Um, I get about uh, nine hours of recording time if I'm running both the front camera and the rear camera, plus I have the Wi-Fi on for all the cloud stuff. If I turn off the Wi-Fi, if I'm running just the front camera or whatever, uh, it's actually rated for 12 hours of recording time. And then as I'm driving around, that battery pack actually completely recharges from dead in uh, one hour. So anyways, uh, a bunch of good stuff. Um, yeah, if you have a dash cam, awesome. You know, if you're looking at one and you're uh, you know concerned about the same sort of thing, somebody hitting your car or whatever, 
take a look for one that's got a good uh, parking feature and also one that can uh, turn the parking mode on and off for you automatically. That's really, really helpful. And then of course, uh, something that can record when you're parked. You can either do that with uh, an accessory like the Power Magic Pro. It actually just uses your car's battery and monitors, you know, when your car's battery's voltage starts to drop and if it drops too low to the point where you're not gonna be able to start your car next time, it'll just cut power to your dash cam. Uh, I'm actually using a different accessory right now. Um, it's called the Blackview B112. It's basically an external battery pack. I have that installed in my car and now I'm not actually relying on my car's battery. I have a secondary battery just for my dash cam, which I actually like that option a lot. Uh, it's more expensive. It costs 160 bucks. It's a bigger package to install than the Power Magic Pro, but I do like having that option here installed in my car. So I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, yeah, more stuff to come as far as reviews, comparisons, all this kind of stuff. It's actually what I'm doing right now. And uh, I wanted to share this with you guys before I actually publish the full review of uh, the Blackview and some of the other cameras that I'm reviewing. So if you want to see more information about my favorite dash cams that I've had a chance to review so far, go to vortexradar.com slash dash cams. I'll have that link in the video description so you can go right to it. Um, but I'm basically covering as I'm doing all these reviews, my favorite dash cams at different price points with different uh, features, parking mode or no parking mode, GPS or no GPS, front camera only or front and rear, all that kind of stuff. So I'm basically covering all of my favorite dash cams with different features and different price points. And you'll find that here on my website. But anyways, uh, just wanted to share this quick clip with you guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, well, I'm glad I have the clip. Not a big fan of the damage to my car, but I'm glad that should that happen again, knock on wood, I now have the system here set up to record, um, you know, when my car is parked. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.